Morning! Early start this morning so that we can get um, M's maze astronaut drill. <laughs> I wish you were going on about yesterday. Um, up and running and started, and then hopefully we can get all our maze drilling finished today. So yeah, that's a that's a plan straight away now. Get it filled up with fertilizer and see. So it has a front hopper on it that we fill up with fertilizer, and then we'll have to unfold the drill at the back and fill each one of these compartments up with seed. Andrew Hill's fitted his own tyre inflation kit to, to this tractor so they can run the rear tyres down at 10 psi when they're in the field but this drill weighs a lot and it needs to be, the tyres need to be at 30 psi on the road so they're just trying to minimise compaction where they can um, especially when they're drilling beat um, but also helps with the maze job maze doesn't like compaction either so uh, any way that we can reduce that by increasing the tyre's footprint and letting some air out is, uh, is all good. Just going to unfold it now. And then that will give us access to those compartments so we can fill them with seed. There we go. So this is what M was meaning, it's got some flat tyres, so there's a little bit of water in these front tyres to give it a bit of ballast and um, the distance that it was travelling yesterday to get here, it had warmed the uh, warmed the tyres up in the water, so that's where she'd got it from. We've not got the kettle out this morning and, uh, and reheated them so she'll be disappointed. Well, this big fan here blows the fertiliser that we've just put in, measured out on these rollers, down these pipes, down this pipe here, into the drill. So it's a, a, a fan also on the back which acts as a vacuum and not a fan and it sucks seeds against this um, disc here so that we've got accurate placement um, of every seed um, which would be every how far 17 centimetres. Yeah, 17 centimetres apart each seed. And while that's doing that, we're also putting fertiliser down at the side of the seed so that it can pick it up and um, get a good start. So we're just going to put the PGO in and we're going to see it sucking the seed against the side of these discs. So we'll just do a seed check now. Ah, and you can see it's sucked against the side there. <laughs> it's quite good, so they're held on. Pop it back on. That's great. It's a big vacuum. When we look at the culture, it's quite good with this being up in the air. But this is um, cutting the slot for the seed. Comes along. This part just presses the seed in. And then this is consolidating the soil on top. So I'm just going down one of the farm tracks now to the field. I'm going to get him set off drilling this, and then um, I think I'm just going to be power powering another field that just wants going over um, before he gets drilling it. Uh, we're, we're well in front, he's got plenty to do before he gets there. So I should get it knocked off in, in plenty of time. In front, we've got a black rabbit. I always find it funny when you see a black rabbit. At one of the other fields we've got one. So we're into the field now. I get it unfolded and away we'll go. We're just letting the air out of the uh, tyres now. So we can get set off. That's what you can hear hissing. in the drill tractor now and we were just looking um, if you remember the disc where the seeds were sucked on so um, there's some magic eye sensors and it'll tell you if it's sucking two seeds on or if it's missing any and um, it gives you that information in the cab on the computer so that if, uh, if anything's going wrong with the seeder 
you know about it straight away so you can make adjustments um, to make sure that seeds are placed every 17 and a half centimetres isn't it I think you were saying. Yeah. This is a section control underneath the reds there and we're all on. So it's some weapon. Looks like we're drilling into moisture as well, which is good. We'll have a little check of that in a second. Got a seat there. One there. Another one there. That's what I want to see. It's going into moisture, which is brilliant. So the computer's telling us that it's doing it right and then we come and check just to make sure. Jobs are good then. Right, we'll leave him to it and I'll go and get um, power harrowing. So we've got some to do. Andy's out and about on the straw blower. I'm going to be getting on this beast and um, power harrowing that one down. So Andy's backing onto the round bales now. Not sure what that's like for him. I'll ask him later. He's got one in anyway. Probably a bit more of a pain to be honest. So I got to the field now with the power harrow. Got it all folded out. So we're going to be working this ground, creating a finer tilth so that you can come in with that big maze drill, get it all drilled today and it's job done. We've got a few crows and a few seagulls with us and I have seen a lapwing on here. It's going steadily along. I'm not going to lift the camera up because I've left a bit of a wiggle of the line. Oh, go on, I'll show you. No GPS. I'm not going very straight. The seagulls don't mind. Come to the end of the field here. I think we've actually got somebody uh, painting. Set up with an easel. Be interested to see what that's all about. About finished it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up. Um, Ems took the drill man to the um, to another field. I'm going to go pick Em up because she showed him the way. And um, yeah, then got things to do back at the farm really. A few bits and bobs there. What I do love about these folding power harrow is most of the soil and dust just comes straight off when you tip it up. So I'm just here with the artiste. Nice for that sky, doesn't it? It's gorgeous sky today, yeah. Got some blue. The trouble is it keeps changing. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't quite get the tractor because I was always moving, so it's just a blur across. But no, it's, uh, it's nice. Nice to see people appreciating the countryside. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, why can't you? I just live down around uh, in Rotherham, so yeah. uh, I'm going to do still. Yeah, it's just a great place still. Just a great yeah, yeah, spend some time. Nice. Right, I'll get back on now, pick up M and um, get back to the farm. Told you that he doesn't always have warm water in his wheels then. Yeah, the, the, um, I think it's from, it's traveled some distance to get here. Um. The end's been uh, riding for the last 40 minutes, so half an hour, 40 minutes. So do you know how to drive it now? Uh, I don't I get a good job. I thought your GPS was on the other one. 
They've got two they have got two screens in there. Normal Kelly screen like ours, normal button screen, this is like a fancy screen. Well, that's the impressive bit of kit. Right, running off back, darling. Alright, go on. It's 24 satellites running that like that. Is it? Yeah. I'll show you how where it shows the satellites on ours if you want. He's got you a like radar. Back? <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a radar. It shows you above around this area. Yeah. 24 satellites. Captain. Looking at us, yeah. spying on us all the time. All, them all energy off them satellites shooting down to that yellow thing at the top of his. To, to power his tractor, is that what it is? It's very good. <laughs> Doesn't need diesel, it has satellite energy. <laughs> right, me and Em are going to jump on this, head back to the farm. We're going to fill the bucket up with some fertiliser and some seed so that we're ready to keep him going. Because the main thing is that he keeps working today because he's got a lot to do. And um, you don't want to be stopped, does he, Em? No. No? Nope. So we're going to oh, crack on with that. Business. Got back. Andy's doing some milling. Morning, Andy. Yeah. Just, just about. Yeah. Hey, we're all in full uniform today, aren't we? Yeah. Hey? Drop it. Drop it, John. So what we're doing now, we're going to drop this power harrow off. We're just going to clean it off. So if there's any weed seeds on it, they're totally cleaned off. Em's doing a good job of that. Should have it done soon. Em's just got on the muck trailer. We'll probably do a little bit of mucking out while we're doing this milling, just so we're uh, being efficient with our time. Well, right now, I'm just waiting for the drill man that's there somewhere. Um, I'm just getting all the bags ready, opened up. Everybody who owns a farmer will know the pain of these type of bags. Uh, I'm sure there is a way and a method to do it correctly, but um, I've not found it yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and open them. Normally just rip them, but I just thought, well, while I'm here, I'll just get them all open and then we can just bash it in as quick as possible, keep them going. That's how to do it. Just going to unfold it now and we'll get it filled up. That box there will drop down eventually. So nice. Andy's just doing a bit of mucking out. So everything's happening today, Andy. Milling, drilling, mucking out. Them on big guns here. I don't know what she's been doing. I think she's been asleep on concrete around here. I've been having difficulties. So this, this panel had pushed out with the muck and it had bent uh, one of these... What, what, what would we call that, Em? A bracket, wouldn't we? A bracket. We had bent the bracket, so Em's took it off, flipped it round so it's on the other way around and now it's putting pressure on it. She was worried that it wasn't pulled up enough here, the gap, but with her brute force, you've managed to pull this panel in, haven't you? Mm. Well done. So now, you know how to do it. Mm. You're fully taught. You've passed your uh, concrete panel adjustment course. Oh. Yeah, 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 I might do a certificate for you. That'll be alright, I think. Mm. Yeah, tighten it now. Tight up. It's holding on. It's all good. Just other end to do. Andy left his yonks ago, didn't he? Mm. What should we call him? Well, he needs a name. He like needs a name. Uh... Walking Andy. <laughs> we reckon he's well, gone. He walks, off we... and he walks off to go for a walk. Yeah, we don't know. No, he's not walked off. He's, um, we reckon he's gone for a walk. We don't really know what he's doing. Yeah, but I, I bet you ask him more than what, what did you Oh, we went for a nice stroll round Wentworth House. <laughs> He might tell us tonight if you watch the video. Maybe that's what we were doing, saving some time so he's got time to watch the video. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Definitely. Content creation. Content creation. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much where we're going to leave it because I'm guessing this video will be quite long because it's got loads of like drill stuff in it. Um, I went in that drill earlier. <laughs> 
Do you like it, Em? You went yeah. in the drill or you went in the tractor? In the tractor with drill on it. <laughs> we cleared up the, uh, the the warm wheels. Although he said they did get warm on that road. Yeah, they were warm when he got back here because I fell on. Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, if people have liked it, remember to press that like button and subscribe. And thanks to all the new people that have subscribed. Have you seen it? How much we've blown yeah, up recently? Oh. Like, <laughs> we just had to wake Ash up. So I've had to just delete loads of stuff off my phone because um, my phone's full of videos. And now I'm going to have to start deleting stuff. Um, we were just saying, we've had loads and loads and loads of recent subscribers. And um, we we're just saying like blown up aren't we from I Asia. think that's what we were saying and, oh <laughs> M thinks we're all from Asia for some reason so like thinks that people from Thailand are watching is that what you reckon yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, where else is in Asia Philippines <laughs> I swear she's getting better at geography hey. I don't, know <laughs> don't ask me another one I'll not ask you another so we were thinking if people would let us know in the comments where you're watching from if you're a new watcher I mean um Whereabouts in the UK, like your nearest town, something like that. Um, let us know in the comments and just, yeah, be interesting to know where all these new subscribers are coming from and where all our old subscribers are as well, because we love geography. Business? And if anybody's from Asia, just let, let them know, because it'll really, really, really make her happy. <laughs> Bye, guys. Goodbye. Waving them. Waving Ash. Ash, go on, wave. Bye. <laughs>